This is Thule's Vertex 4x hitch mounted rack system which is compatible with one and a quarter or two inch receivers. Thule's new hitch rack design features a sleek and stylish finish with arc bike arms and an arc mass. Uh, this basically allows for faster loading and unloading and it also provides increased clearance from the ground and rear bumper. The bike arms and mast are easily folded down with Thule's quick release uh, hitch switch which are located at the top of the mast and at the bottom of the mast. Uh, we will show you a demonstration on this particular rack system and its features coming up in the video. What we have here is Thule's adapter sleeve converter kit which is included with the Vertex 4 bike rack. What this does is simply convert the Vertex from a one and a quarter inch to a two inch receiver. Simply slide the two inch sleeve adapter over the one and a quarter inch stinger and fasten the single allen bolt and now your rack will be uh, converted over to a two inch receiver. If you want to use the one and a quarter inch stinger, then simply slide off the two inch sleep adapter and your rack is now equipped for a one and a quarter inch setup. And that's pretty much it. What we're going to show you here is a quick demonstration how to install the Vertex 4x hitch mounted rack system into a two inch receiver. Uh, after you get the 2 inch sleeve adapter installed onto the bike rack, what you want to do is go ahead and slide it into your receiver hitch until the two bolt holes are lined up. Then you want to take the designated hex head bolt that Thule provides uh, with the proper washers and go ahead and thread that in by hand as much as you can. Uh, I would do it by hand first, just prevents any kind of cross threading um, and stripping of the bolt. So um, Then once you get that fully tightened down by hand, what you want to do is just go ahead and use the uh, provided wrench by Thule to fully fasten the rack system on. You can also use a ratcheting wrench um, if you prefer, uh, which basically speeds up the, the process a little bit. And after you get the rack system fully tightened on, what you want to do is go ahead and give it a shake just to make sure that it's installed properly and it's not loose. And after that, you're going to be ready to go for a bike ride. These are Thule's new Hold Fast anti sway cradles, which include reinforced rubber straps uh, that help secure the bikes in place. And it also includes a no sway cage, which is an anti sway mechanism that helps provide extra bike stability and prevents bike to bike contact. The soft group cushion cradles do offer a superior bike protection and do accommodate bikes with cables on the underside of the top tube. Thule has incorporated a quick hitch switch located at the top portion of the mass. What this is is a gray lever that you lift up and allows the bike arms to be folded down when not in use. They also provide this same quick hitch feature at the bottom portion of the mass. This here is Thule's quick hitch switch mechanism located at the bottom portion of the mass, which is a lever that allows you to tilt the rack system away from the vehicle. Uh, giving you full access to the rear hatch area. To engage in this feature you do have to unload the bikes first. And when you tilt the rack system back up, listen for an audible click which will reassure you that it has locked back into its designated slot. And this is Thule's Vertex 4 bike hitch mounted rack system.